Hey, welcome to Toy Collection of Joy. Uh, this is going to be a comic book video. I went to a couple of shops uh, just before Mother's Day weekend and was able to find a lot more of the uh, Lucio Prillo Red Sonia in particular covers. And uh, I found a shop that I really love and actually uh, me and my brother became uh, members of the store. And, uh, <laughs> um, we joined just before, uh, free comic day. So, uh, I was able to kind of get, get some cool stuff and not have to deal with any crowds. It was really cool. Um, and then we kind of went to a store that, um, it's a little too far away and we, we didn't really go there too often. We don't really have a whole lot of plans of going there a lot more, but, um, it's an okay store once you kind of find what you're looking for. But, um, I've, I've been lucky to, uh, collect a lot of the Vampirella Lucio Prilla covers and, um, Warlord of Mars with the Dejah Thoris stuff, but the, um, the Red Sonia's were a little harder to find and my selection was kind of lacking in those, but I, I was able to pick some up today and it feels really good to buy comics for once, not off of eBay. It feels really great. You get to take them home the same day and you know what condition you're getting them in. You pay a little bit more and you have to pay sales tax, but uh, I'll go ahead and just start with this one. This is a uh, red Sonia. She devil with the sword number. 77 and uh it's really gorgeous the lighting on these is stupendous i have this weird idiosyncrasy where i put three pieces of tape on the back i don't know why but when the when you put it back in on the Back of the bag flaps up. Ever since I was a kid, that just drove me crazy. So I just put three pieces. And some people will put the tabs in the bottom. So when you push it down and pull it back up, those don't flip over. But I didn't really like that either. I always thought the comic was going to fall out. Kind of weird about bagging boards. But uh, here's... Uh, Red Sonia, She Devil with the Sword, 79. I always wanted this cover. You can see the green eyes and the war paint and the shimmering jewelry. And you can even see that her scars have newly been stitched up. Amazing. Here's a uh, Red Sonia, Revenge of the Gods, number two. Tap decapitation cover. I recently saw an online video of the um, 100 sexiest um, women in comics, and uh, I think. Red Sonia was number one. It was pretty cool. Judging by some of these covers, it would be hard to argue. Uh, this is Red Sonia, Revenge of the Gods, number five. Very muted colors, so um, for red hair and logo really stand out because uh, you know the rest of it's kind of mauve colored very um, dull and then you have the rich vibrant red it's very very well done I've already shared this one but it's part of my red Sonia Queen Sonia collection this is a uh, Queen Sonia number one
Nice red on green treatment at the throne. Here's another one I got today. It was a little bit less than the rest. I noticed that Perillo signed his signature a little different on this one. You can see the way he signs it right down there by the barcode. He usually just does his initials with an L and a P. I really like this cover. I like the white backgrounds, and I like the way the light's hitting her, uh, her left and her thigh right there. And they're just kind of shimmering off the sword in a similar way. Very striking the way she's backlit. And then I like this fallen tree and the shrubbery coming off it. Very uh, reminiscent of the way Frank Frazetta would, would have handled something like that. That's Queen Sonia, number four. I know I've shared this one before because it's my favorite Queen Sonia cover, but um, it's number six. There's the green eyes. I'm sleeping right here. Very cool. Queen Sonia, number nine. Some of these covers are very menacing and some of them are very serene, so I didn't get all of the Perillo, Red and Queen Sonia's, but I got the ones I really wanted, the ones that I couldn't leave without. There's Queen Sonia 22. Just another masterpiece, just a seemingly endless run of masterpieces by this man. Perillo. And they're all very tasteful, very artistic. Queen Sonia 28. I love the eyes on this one. I think Perillo must have a thing for these uh, shallow hairline gashes, just sliced up arms and the light hitting them. He returns to that many times. All right, here's a new one I got. Red Sonia Vultures Circle. I got this one a couple days ago. Vultures Circle number one. Another great face. More amazingly shimmering metallic armor. And the, uh, the tension is subtlety on the, um, the flesh tones. Never ceases to amaze. This is Vulture's Circle number two. My box is getting a little tight. Might have to uh, either get a new one or slow down for a little while. Uh, Red Sonia Vulture Circle number four. This beautiful one. Once we get past that glare, figure on this one. The face. It's, sometimes these covers get a little soft. But this one's very, very precise. 
very detailed. Just amazing. Red Sonia, Wrath of the Gods, number five. There's luck going on to the back, but it's the uh, central figure that's the most realized. Everything in the background is kind of hazy. The foreground is very clear. very fully rendered where everything in the back is kind of a blur. Uh, Queen Sonia 34. This is one I was really glad to find in person. It, it goes for like yeah, nine or ten bucks to, to pick up. So to get it for four was, was pretty cool. Free shipping obviously when you go get it yourself. What a nice break to buy this one. <laughs> More here. Actually, this is last Red Sonia. Um, Red Sonia 76. I almost didn't get this one. I showed it to my brother and he, he assured me it was a nice cover. I'm glad I got it. And the other one was uh, a Vampirella I needed, I found yesterday. A uh, Vampirella 33. I kept ordering this one, and they were sending me 35 instead, because if you look at it, the 33, the second three looks a lot like a 5 to some people, I guess. So, uh, I kept getting copies of this. Look at that. Beautiful. And look, at she's even holding like a little guy in her palm. His butt's out, her butt's out. It's Everyone's very relaxed. Very, very calm. This is one of the serene covers. And I got one other. Sonia cover. This one's ridiculous, though. I was digging in the dollar bin. And um, I came across... Uh, this is not a Prillo cover. But, uh, okay, I got a couple. I got this one right here, which is just Red Sony number three. And these are usually what the regular covers look like. I just wanted it. So I'm building a collection and have a lot of gaps. And, you know, it'd be nice to read the story instead of just gawking at covers. But this one made me laugh. This is uh, Red Sony 18. <laughs> when you compare it with something like this, you know, <laughs> very different. But um, that's about it. It's not a real long video. These were all one dollar comics. Anyhow, um, well, thanks for watching this little video. Uh, I really am enjoying a Perlo stuff, and in a weird way, he's uh, he's got me really, really back into uh, paintings. Well, you know, I lost that light. I guess it's time to sign off, anyhow. But um, uh, have a great weekend, and uh, if you're going to free comic day. I hope you get all the ones you want. Uh, take care.